Get ready. Here it is. The Google's Notebook KLM version of the, the, I actually haven't listened to this whole thing. So we'll listen to like 30 seconds together. Um, it is a five minute podcast summary of the of the topics that I talk about here on the Jen Fulweiler show. All right. You're just scrolling Instagram and like, bam, there it is. Some mom of nine claiming her sanity depends on a refrigerated salad bar. Only Jen Fulweiler, right? <laughs> Seriously. Makes you wonder, though, is there like some secret mom magic in pre-chopped what? veggies. We're diving into a few Jen Fulweiler show episodes this is today. AI. This is AI. Well, outrageous stories actually have some wisdom about this whole motherhood thing. You know, the mental load of it all. That's how she uses the funny stuff, right? Yeah. Guys, the, the, the robots are going to win. Like the the robots ball. are going to win. Yeah, it's a riot. Total exaggeration. But it's that deep down craving for systems, for help that so many moms feel. If I could just organize my way out to of this chaos. Though, remember when I tried those homemade chicken nuggets? Oh no. My kids took one look, demanded the frozen ones back. <laughs> See, that's Jen. Systems are great, but kids are gonna kid. It's not about perfect solutions all the time, more like accepting the beautiful mess. Speaking of mess, she's got this line that made me stop and think, you're not a bad mom, you're just poor. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Now, before AI the emails is... roll in, Wait. she doesn't mean AI is quoting me now. Guys, what? okay, you, I, I hope <laughs> yeah. that you see JF on YouTube.com. I hope that you see the way Caitlin and I are looking at each other. We, we're just like, there's this, no way that's, that's I'm, not a person. It's, it, this is freaking me out. My so, mind is so blown. Well, yeah, and, and, and I'm mean, okay. Here's what's insane. I mean, they just, all they did was give AI the podcast episodes but the AI chose the things that would probably stand out in your mind that like you're not like because I've had people DM me on Instagram and be like, oh, Jen, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not a bad mom. You're just poor. Maybe they were AI bots. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, these people who I consider my friends, like they've been podcast listeners for years. They've always been an AI bot. Um, but it's just like, yeah, that I know that stood out to people because I've heard people commenting on it. And then this AI podcast is talking about it. And listen, so you guys know I'm a comedian. If I were listening to this, I might be expecting the, the bit like, oh, this is a joke. Like it, this isn't. You guys, this is not a joke. Google Notebook. Oh, it's not Notebook KLM. It's Notebook LM. Notebook LM. It is a Google thing. This is legit. There's not like a bit at the end of this. This is truly AI. Uh, let, okay, I just have to listen to a few more minutes. This is insane. Actually poor, it's more. It's meant to make you think. It's about this expectation that mom should be joyful all the time. And when cleaning yogurt off the ceiling doesn't spark joy. Mm. The guilt spiral is real. Right. I used to hide laundry piles before playdates. Like I was the only one who couldn't keep a spotless house with toddlers. And we for the, the AI what? robots have a backstory. Yeah. The AI robot is they have saying fake AI kids. <laughs> is she has a more interesting life than mine. <laughs> the AI robot is living a more interesting <laughs> life than mine. She's talking about how she used to hide laundry before plated. She's funnier than I am. Wait, <laughs> wait. AI is funnier than I am. AI has better stories than I do. Oh man, we're we're all out of jobs. Like oh, I don't yeah. care what you do. Wrap it up. You thought they couldn't come for you, but yeah, I know because I was always like, I'm not out of a job, because because my platform is about like funny personal stories. Oh well, now the robots have better funny personal stories than I do. This is freaking me out. This is freaking yeah, me out. Things used to be different. Like the village, it wasn't a cute saying. It was how things were. Yeah, shared resources, built-in support. Versus now, it's often solo, juggling work, home, emotions with way less help. And that pressure, it builds. Oh, yeah. Jen's really honest about how it hits her physically, too. That mind-body connection is huge. There's this book, The Body Keeps the Score. Ah! It's about this how is freaking me out! They come out somehow. They do, as physical symptoms. And Jen talks about that firsthand. Yeah. Stress, fatigue, even feeling like she has some mystery illness. It's a lot. <laughs> it is, makes you really so you're not alone in those moments. And admitting you're not okay, that's vital. Absolutely, that's the first step. And she has a name for that feeling, you know, pushing it down, being good to the point of burnout. 
good girl hangover, she called. I know that. But I don't think well. I said that. Right. And did you hit a wall on. eventually. Did, did I say, say good girl hangover? Oh, I didn't. But by the way, now I'm going now to. We are. <laughs> this podcast is literally better than mine. It this Dang. the AI robots <laughs> are creating a better podcast than my good girl hangover. Eventually can't keep giving when you're running on empty. You have to make the space for yourself, even if it means going against what's expected. And that's where the villain era comes in. Here we go, everybody's favorite. <laughs> Sounds dramatic, but honestly, it's kind of freeing. It really, ah, oh yes, not about being Cruella DeVille, but taking back control, Yeah, you know? Setting those boundaries, deciding what you need, no apologies. Yes, this is how I function, deal with it. <laughs> Even if it ruffles some feathers. Like that story Jen tells about dropping her daughter off at college. Amidst the chaos. Total career meltdown happening, but she owned it. Instead of pretending, which we've all done. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. But she let herself feel it, career stress included. Yeah. And it gave her freedom, unexpectedly. Uh, uh, you it's guys, th I mean, not... th this is... <laughs> okay, so because everything has been so chaotic, we are recording this a couple days before I leave for this first leg of my tour. I've had my endless health issues. Um, it, it has been a lot. I had only listened to like 20 seconds of this so i am hearing all of this with you guys at the at the same time um this is truly a before and after moment in my life like i i truly i think i will tell my grandkids about the moment that i heard this fake ai podcast i did not know that we are here with ai and and my son is specializing in the study of ai i did not know that we are here this is insane yeah the, uh, a and it's putting me out of a job it's a better <laughs> backstory better good girl hangover like like they're taking my mess of a podcast i see new merch coming <laughs> yeah and then wait what if we sent this segment to ai where i'm talking about how ai freaks me out <gasps> would that can the ai robot be self-aware like would it be like Jen is talking about us. We make her uncomfortable <laughs> because she knows that we are going to put her and everyone else you know out of a job. I, like, I wonder, <laughs> like, could, can the robots be self-aware, you know? Huh. Listen, oh, we're this, totally... is, this is freaking me out. Yep. <laughs> now I'm all, just, I need to send, the, oh my gosh, my, my AI obsessed son, I, I haven't sent him to this. This is, I haven't sent this to him. This is crazy. So, um... Yeah, this is the glossary of terms you need to know. If you are a new listener to this podcast, get your glossary. Villain era, trad man, blue flame, people pleaser, galaxy brain, rap beef, after party, village hustle, state of the dumpster fire, and macrame. You, well, you can tell when they did this because certainly AI would have cued in on um what crepuscular oh, yeah. the word that almost got my husband kicked out of the yacht club <laughs> when they almost tried to subtract a point for his personal definition of that word um so obviously i think i think that would have been in the glossary of terms so yeah that you know it's a lot to process that the the daytime anchor of cnbc created an ai podcast of my podcast that blew my mind do you listen to any other podcasts that have where this kind of stuff is going on you have to admit it's unique you have to admit yeah. <laughs> that there is nothing like this that exists out there um this podcast is irreplaceable except for by ai, <laughs> AI. robots who are funnier and have more interesting lives than i do and by the way there's more I, I won't play the whole thing, but let, let's just listen to... Okay, you know what? Let's listen to the end. So I, I'm about to move on to the next topic, but I just want to hear how the robots end their discussion of me <laughs> in this fine podcast. Giving up everything for you. Right. It's it's okay to have needs, to have passions, to say I know sometimes. You're modeling that balance, that self-respect for your kids. And Jen's great at that. She doesn't just talk, she lives it, right? Yes. Both about her own villain era moments and how it made her a better parent. It's refreshing to hear someone be so real about it. It is. No sugar coating. Mm -hmm. You realize, okay, nobody has it all figured out. We're all just doing our best. No magic formula, no perfect mom award. Which is honestly <laughs> such a relief to hear. It is. So permission to let go of that pressure a little. 
embrace the beautiful mess. And yeah, sometimes that takes a little villainy. Boundaries, owning your choices, putting yourself first once in a while. Because ultimately you can't pour from an empty cup. To all the parents out there, especially the moms, you're doing amazing. Come on. And if you need a little villain era inspiration. Jen Fulwiller's your girl. Seriously. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. It's been fun. Always a good time. I, I feel like I sense chemistry between these two yeah. robots. But, but like, wasn't there a little romantic tension there? <laughs> yeah, like, what? How are they sexier than me? <laughs> we don't even have that good chemistry. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we're not gay <laughs> yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, okay, so they have better <laughs> chemistry than us, better <laughs> sexual chemistry than we have. <laughs> They're evidently better looking than I am. They, they, they got this going on. And they're funnier than I am and they have better lives. So I have been um, bested by the AI robots. And now I'm out of a job along with the rest of you. Like, who isn't out of a job? Like, you know, people who work in nursing homes. Okay, yeah. like maybe they're not out of a job. Professional alcoholic? I don't think they have that one covered yet. Yeah, but that's not paid. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like AI robots now. now like everything Great. we say, I'm like, I how do that? Okay, how do listeners know for sure that this is really us <laughs> and that Caitlin and I are not at a martini bar downtown <laughs> and and letting the AI robots do this whole episode? What they don't know anymore. At least, okay, you know what? That's why you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> because AI is not yet not yet at a point where it where it can do visuals that well that's something yeah. ai would say oh <laughs> just, just <laughs> but if you pull up the youtube channel you can see my mouth actually moving yeah and what it what a what a plug that is uh <laughs> jf on youtube.com is how you can confirm that this is not ai and it's the only way you can confirm that it's not AI. This is honestly, I, I'm telling you, I will tell my grandchildren about this night that I, that seriously freaked me out. Mm -hmm. Like chills, chills. But tell your kids about it. You see how if, you know, if your kid's struggling in math and physics and chemistry, have the robots do a podcast about it. It will sound <laughs> yeah. very legit.